straight out to Kathy Belich, joining us from CNN affiliate WFTV there in Orlando. Kathy, I've got all the motions right here. There's over 200 pieces of evidence that they want banned from the jury's eyesight and earsight, ear, ear, earsight, I guess. They don't want the jury to hear any of this. That's right, they don't. And the, the, you saw those pictures. They don't want the jury to see the pictures either before or after Kaylee disappeared. And there are 207 statements that I counted that, that plus Cindy's 911 call that the defense wants to keep out of this trial. They say that those comments are prejudicial, that it's hearsay, it's not admissible, uh, it only makes Casey look bad, and it's not credible evidence. It, it shouldn't come into the trial. That's their argument. We are taking your calls live over 200 pieces of evidence. Top Mom's defense team wants thrown out. The jury will never see or hear over 200 crucial pieces of evidence to the state if they have their way. Let's unleash the lawyers. Joining us tonight, Susan Moss, family law attorney in New York, Richard Herman, renowned attorney out of New York, and high-profile lawyer out of Seattle jurisdiction, Ann Bremner. Of course, Sue Moss, of course they make her look bad. Every piece of evidence that the state brings in in any trial makes the defendant look bad because it proves they're guilty. Oh, these pics will stay in the mix. The pictures before the alleged abduction come in because they go to motive. The motive that mom didn't want to be a mom anymore. The pictures after this alleged abduction is also going to come in. She was supposed to be searching for the kid, not uh, going out and getting drunk. Richard Herman, do they have a leg to stand on? Asking for all these, th these pieces of evidence, over 200 pieces of evidence, the 911 call, photos, reams of evidence be thrown out. They do, Nancy, because in a death penalty case, there is a heightened level of due process protection afforded to a defendant. And here, the judge is going to have to carefully balance the prejudicial value of the particular items of evidence against the probative value of it. I think uh, a lot of these are getting Herman thrown out. Put Herman up, please. Put Herman up. Put him up. <laughs> oh, boy. Richard. <laughs> Earshot. You said earshot. It will be. I, I know that was a, that was a, a, a boo boo. Richard, <laughs> it'll be a cold day below when a 911 call is not allowed in front of a jury. What? Out to Ellie Jostad. What else do they want suppressed? Well, Nancy, there's a long list here, but I just want to point out one thing really quickly. I'm looking at the 911 call transcript. The words that Cindy Anthony used were, "It smells." with an S, Did you hear like that, a Brenner? dead body. Did you hear that, Ann Brimmer? But she also used past tense in there, and that's in the brief. You're but not going to let it. it go, are you? I respect no, that. I'm go not. ahead, Ellie. Okay, all right. So here's the list of the items that they want kept out. They want a lot of the testimony about things that witnesses claim George, Cindy, Lee Anthony described to them about what was going on in their house. For example, both Lee and uh, both Jesse Grund, Casey's old boyfriend, and his father claimed that Lee Anthony claimed there was actually a fight between Cindy and her mother, or Casey and her mother, where they actually became physical. Casey was choked by her mother. You mean they had a physical fight? That's right. Top and mom short, and her mother. Yes, and right before Kaylee went missing. 